how do they feel how are they feeling about you and your connection at the moment let's have a look i'm going to split the deck into four four elements four seasons most importantly for angels often as a circle of protection down this side is you what is going on in your connection at the moment down this side is them how are they feeling or what is going on and down the middle is the connection and energy right at the moment there's quite a lot of security in the middle of you both which you're going to go no no there really isn't because there's a lot of people interfering but in the middle of you both there is this stability within your connection but a lot of people have a lot of opinions and a lot of people are involved in a situation that's got nothing to do with them. And it feels like the outside influence is trying to make you both feel insecure. And at the moment, it's not working. Um, and I say at the moment. So in the recent past, you've got the six of cups reversed and they've had the four of coins. They like you a lot. There's a real nice connection here. And... You've got the Six of Swords in the middle of you both. It feels like this is a do-over, a reset. Um, it feels like someone that you've known for a very long time with the Six of Cups reversed. But you do have moments of thinking, do I just give them too much allowance? Um, do I just see the best version of them? And do I just ignore the bad bits? I'm going to say no. It feels like you've got someone around you that makes you feel really insecure about this person. But you've got to remember that the person that's feeding the information and planting these seeds of doubt in you are basing their opinion of your person on their own experience with other people. They, it feels like this person doesn't necessarily know your person for them to be judging them. Um, the Four of Coins, you, you know, your person wants to build a, build a life with you they want to take care of you they want they want to have something strong with you both and it feels like even in the recent past this was a real chance for the both of you to have love and to build something great so we've got the queen of wands reversed on your side they've got the empress reversed on their side and these are people that are meddling on both sides i don't know if you were together in the past and people are going yeah but it went wrong last time it'll go wrong this time it will only go wrong if you want it to go wrong or if you know if it's meant to go wrong it'll go wrong whoever the empress reversed is you both may just have nightmare exes around as well um this Empress reversed is not happy about this connection, but neither is the Queen of Wands reversed. The Empress reversed feels they're a little bit more malicious because there's jealousy and things involved there. The Queen of Wands reversed just wants what's best for you and they've got their information wrong. They're basing their judgment on your person, on their own experiences in life. Anyway, welcome back to Hope Tower Daily. My name is Angie. I do do private readings. Um, but you've got the King of Coins in the middle of you both, which is this stability. And your person's worked hard at giving you the security and, and everything. When there's no one else around, you two feel really strong and secure together. And it's like you two in a little bubble in this world of chaos on the outside. The Eight of Coins reversed moving forward for you. And then the Knight of Coins for your person. It's this stability, but this Queen of Wands reversed, whoever it is on your side, who's planting these seeds of doubt, don't let those seeds of doubt grow into massive monsters. I want you to judge your person on your own opinion, on how they've treated you, on facts, not fears. Um, the Eight of Pentacles reversed feels like you're pulling away a bit. And it's based on whatever this Queen of Wands is saying. Um, I'm kind of like looking at the Queen of Wands because they genuinely think they're doing the right thing. They're not. Um, and then in the middle of you both is this tower, which is there's going to be a change happening. So which is, which is it? Are you going to put your foot down and tell people that you're with your person no matter what? Or are you going to let these seeds of doubt and everything pull this relationship apart your person's not going to go anywhere with the knight of coins they like you they want a future with you they're willing to wait they're willing to do it properly they have they're very respectful they're a very nice person base your judgment on your person with how they've treated you 
rather than what everyone else thinks. And if you look at your person and you think you've treated me really badly, get out. But if they haven't treated you badly, why are you, why are you giving them a hard time? Because it feels like you may be giving them a bit of a hard time. Um, I'm going to do an oracle spread for the both of you. What else do you both need to know? What is this tower? Is it a temporary breakup? Is it what? There's a change coming, a sudden unexpected thing coming. Um, is it the both of you cutting loose from everyone's opinion and putting it to rest and moving forward and letting go of everyone else's opinion? Uh, it's your life. You have to live your life in the way that you want to live it. So... Your spirit animals, passion between you both, and happiness. See, when it's just the two of you, there's all this, there's this connection. You just can't help it. There's a lovely connection. You've got a very good instinct, but so is your person. You're very drawn together. It's like you're a pack. It's like you, you and your person against the world. There's lots of passion between you both, but you make each other very happy. Uh, yeah, do you trust your person? If you don't trust your person... Leave them alone because you're both going to have a horrible relationship. If you can trust your person and you base it on facts and, and everything and you think, my person's never made me not trust them, why wouldn't I trust them? Don't base your fears on other people's fears of their own relationships. Just because this Queen of Wands reverse picks wrong people don't mean that you do. It's time for the both of you to find peace together. Um, and willpower, you two can overcome it. So I think the tower is a positive thing for the both of you. It's almost like smashing up the foundations. Maybe the both of you have let people have too many opinions. And now it's like, nope, not listening. We're going to do this the way that we want to do it. Putting your foot down and building it in the way that you want, want it to be. Uh, talent, your natural born talents. You both complement each other very well. Forgiveness. And this feels like forgiveness of the Queen of Wands reversed because they are a genuine person. This person wants you to be happy. They're just very misguided. Um, it may damage your friendship short term, but long term, I think you can both come back together again. As long as they know that their opinions uh, don't want to be heard. And then we have reconciliation. The both of you doing just fine. Yeah. It's almost like you're both coming together in a new, different kind of way, in a way that makes it work. And it does feel like your person at the moment is someone from who you've been here and done it with before. Base them on how they are now rather than how they were in your past relationship. And as I said, if they're a horrible person, why are you dating them? But they're not. They're nice. It feels great. And it feels like they're very serious. And this time it's going to work. So I'm going to wrap you in a massive bubble of protection so your angels take you on your way. Thank you so much for being here with me today. If you've made it to this point, you're now part of the Secret Purple Heart Gang. Really appreciate you being here. It's Monday morning for me in the UK at the moment. It's a nice sunny but cold spring day here. Rosie's underneath a radiator somewhere. I haven't seen her for the last couple of days because she's getting restless. She's like she wants to be back outside. Um... She's a pretty luxe tuxedo cat. There's a photo of her on my website. On my website, I have a pull a card page. If you refresh the page, it will give you a new tarot card. And then you scroll down the bottom and read it. I do it every morning before I get up. My diary is open. I've been adding more dates onto my, um, my diary page because I was getting emails saying, oh, I've just missed out. So they're there. So hopefully whenever you need to book a reading, there should be one available. Um, it, it just may be a little bit of a wait. So I hope you have a lovely week. If there's anything you're doing this week that's different to your normal routine, let me know what it is. I've got I've got something I'm doing tomorrow that's completely different to what I normally do. It's a little bit personal and I'm being really brave. So wish me luck in the comments because it's been a long time coming and I'm actually doing it and it's scary and nerve-wracking but it's gonna be a good thing eventually if I stick to it um so if you're challenging yourself in any way just go for it don't hold yourself back get out of your own way let yourself do the things that you need to do and I will see you tomorrow